General Maverick reporting for the RSSF. Transmission number 756. I'm still trapped in a space-time anomaly that has pushed me into the Mass Effect 2 universe this time. This is another unedited transmission of around 30 minutes, because that's about when the space-time anomaly cuts the connection between our universes. Alright, so we're trying to rescue Tali. And we're in this planet where the sun really burns. Uh, we just put some charges here and burn... Yeah, that's the sun. Uh, put some charges and destroy that uh, wall there. Be able to get inside here. Now... The enemies here are pretty tough. These buildings are quarian. This colony predates the Geth uprising. This deep behind Geth lines? Hope the Quarians got what they were looking for. Okay. Ancient wall safe. Let me check everything. Tali's order to base camp. Come in base camp. That's this. Thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of geth outside. What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer geth shooting at us. <laughs> Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth, and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please, do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Alright. Um... Alright. Yeah. What do we get? Credits. Eh. Okay, anything else? I got the tally's going on. Systems. Stay Wait, what? Now you see me. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, eat it. I had to hurt. Did I do that? Nice. Got 
How much life does he have? Oh wow. Enemies in front. Okay, that's a lot of ammo right there. Can we go this way? I was wondering what's down there, but I'm pretty sure we gotta go these way. Oh boy. You think so? What do we... I think it's best if we fight from here. Going silent. Dark. 
Okay, let me see. No, I don't have any. Ouch. Enemies in front. Watch out, piece of crap repairing itself. Wait, what? He can do that? Oh, get, get out. Really? Damn it. Over here. Get the cover. Squad leader Kyle Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. Oh, yeah. Still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Yeah, Callie's no kidding. The rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. <laughs> What's your position like? Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shield. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. Good luck, Rieger. Let's go shoot some Geth. Give us a lie. <sighs> Say hi to Tally for me. Nice. Trouble ahead. Ouch! Why am I not shooting? Damn it, I hate this gun. Now you see me. Akima. Looks like I got its attention.
We made it. One left. Just a second. I locked the door to keep more guests from getting inside. There, that should do it. Holy, that was something. Let me look around. Something there. Yeah, let's go get that med kit if possible. Uh, how do I? Is there a path? No, there is no path. Something here. Got it. All right. Just let me finish this download. I know, wrong bottom. Damn it. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's son is far too young for this to be natural. Huh. Rieger sacrificed himself so I could get to you. Damn it. I feared as much. He gave his life for me. For the mission. A whole team of scientists and marines, and I'm the only one left. I hope the board finds the data valuable. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. <laughs> I just watched the rest of my team die. Come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah, another mission complete. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizor. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. 
I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. <laughs> you don't have to like them, Tally, but we're on the same side this time. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. That's all I'm asking, Tally. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. <laughs> All right. Weapon upgrade. Okay, let's see. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, so many. Mark is right. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, I didn't check. Wait, wait, wait. Let's check the journal. Uh, let's do Jack Subject Zero. And he's, uh, he's in the... Everybody else is in the Normandy, I guess. Yeah. Normandy. Alright, let's start with Jack. Uh, sub level beneath the Normandy engineering deck. What is that? The elevator? Yeah, let's go down. Let's go down. Okay, where is Jack? Beneath engineering, that should be around here, no? There's Jack. Tight little group you got here, and a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy, but you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. I'm listening. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. 
I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. <laughs> Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. All right, I guess that's what we're doing next. Uh, Jack. All right, Nubian expanse. Right. Let's go back up. Uh, To the galactic map and then uh yeah commander morden requests to see you i know he's gotta wait for a bit i'm busy now take this Okay, yeah, we gotta help Jack go in here. Alright. Okay, let's get some fuel. Oh, we got some fuel. Then let's uh, investigate these planets and then. Uh, We'll do Jack's mission. Only looking for element zero. Not even a little.
Wow. Zero element zero. <laughs> All right. What else? Wow. Nothing? Alright. Take some of these and then... Launching probe. Some of that. Some of that. Launching probe. Some of that. Launching probe. Okay, let's go. percent there must be another planet Is that a planet oh yeah reach reach on what oh Element zero. Nothing. Am you? Okay, that'll be our next stop in the next one i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing and check out the links in the description for official rssf merchandise to support the channel thank you very much for watching talk to you in the next one general maverick out